Now, risk acceptance. This, I think, is huge in the industry because most organizations uh, are accepting risk or they've delegated who's going to accept the risk or deal with the risk, and people just accept it. Like when I said that you need to delegate who's responsible for risk, and companies that have the business unit managers or the department heads that are responsible for the risk within their department, what, what I've seen is a lot of times that department head or that business manager doesn't understand or doesn't have the time or, or um, has enough other things to do, and they just accept the risk and they don't understand what they're accepting. So when you uh, accept risk, it needs to be based on cost, um, where we did the cost-benefit um, analysis with the control. Uh, pain uh, means that if we allow this risk to exist, uh, how is it going to hurt us? What are we going to, how is it going to affect us? Invisibility, reputation. If we just accept this risk and uh, our customers find out about it, how is that going to hit uh, or that, how is that going to affect our reputation? And it shouldn't be a surprise decision. You should have a, uh, a very calculated or a, a process that you're going through, which is what we're talking about. We're talking about building a whole security um, uh, risk management program, and you're not just winging it.